So the big question is, <clears throat> are Michael, is Michael Lise and Tyrick Mitchell going to be fit for this game? I really, really hope so. We both we desperately, desperately need them in the team. I mean, quite clearly proved, I mean, against Leicester that we were nothing without them. You know, Ward isn't good enough at left back. And, you know, I've got doubts about I used to deal. I still just don't think he's that, I don't think he's good enough for me personally. Big game at Wembley. Big, big game at Wembley. Can we do it? Hey guys, how's it going? Ed Star here. Back with another preview for the channel. Big, big game Wembley. Semi-final, Crystal Palace, Chelsea. 4.30pm kickoff on Sunday. I cannot wait to go to this game. It's going to be a very, very interesting game. I don't know what way to call this. If I'm honest with you, Chelsea are massive favourites. Let's, let's get this in there. They are massive favourites to win this game. But anything can happen in the semi-final. Anything can happen. If we just hang on in there, don't give stupid goals away. We've got every chance in this game. I mean... Chelsea have been up and down lately, so losing to um, Real Madrid in the Champions League for them, this is their last chance of silverware this season, so they will definitely be up for this game. It's a really, really big game, really big game. I mean, it's our first semi-final in six years, as I was there for the semi-final in 2016 as well against Watford. Um, we did come through that day 2-1. Um, three of the last four... Um, semi-finals that we've been in we've won three of them so we have got a good record so we really should hopefully be trying to prevail in this so although this is going to be a very very difficult game we're the only one out of the um, final four that have not won the, the FA Cup before so you know there's no pressure on us this weekend it's a day out it's a day out at Wembley game we're not expected to win you know, Chelsea are expected to go through, but you never know. You never know in a in a in a FA Cup semi final. So I'm going to go through my one to eleven right now. Who I would like to start. This is probably what I would like to see if um, Mitchell and Elise are fit. Um, starting off in goal, Jack Butland. Um, he's been the cup goalkeeper for us this year. He's played literally every minute of the cup. So I don't see why he wouldn't start the semi final as well. Um, you could make a strong case for Vincente, but I think Jack Butland deserves a chance to go out of Wembley. I think he does. You know, he's got good experience at Wembley as well. He's won the Carabao Cup with Birmingham before. So, yeah, it's a um, it's a very interesting dilemma in goal for sure. But I think Jack Butland should start personally for me. Um, I think the back four will stay the same if Mitchell is fit. If Mitchell's um, not fit. I don't know who I put in there. If I'm honest with you, I I don't know if I want Schlup or I don't know if I want Ward. But I'm really hoping Mitchell's fit for this game. Um, yeah, back same back four as it was against Leicester. Um, midfield, I think he'll go with Macarthur and um, I don't know. I think he'll start um, Kiarte and Hughes again. Fortunately, um, Conor Gallagher cannot play against his parent club, which is fucking annoying because we needed him so much. Um, so I definitely think um, Hughes will have a bit more further forward, if I'm honest with you, than he would normally play. Um, I think MacArthur will slot into that DM role with Kuyate. Um Front three, I think he'll go, if Elise's fit, I think he'll go Elise, Zaha and um, John philippe Mateta up top. So again, it's a very, very tough selection to call because you need to put Eze in there as well. But it's a semi-final. It's a semi-final now. So this is a big, big moment for the club. You know, we've, we're not a club that's used to be going to semi-finals at Wembley. So it's a big, big occasion for the club. It really is a big occasion. You know, I'm super proud of what they've done this season. I cannot, you know, give them more praise than what they already deserve. They've been brilliant this season. The only thing I've got to say is, you know, if there is a loss on Sunday... We've got a game on Wednesday, so 
we have got a game on Wednesday against Newcastle. Unfortunately, you know, I would have loved to have gone to Newcastle, but it's just not viable. On a Wednesday night, I'd have to stay up in Newcastle as well. And, um, yeah, it just wouldn't work. It just would not work. It, it costs too much money at the end of the day. And it's money that I haven't got to spend at the moment. So, yeah. Um, I didn't say this preview was going to be very, very long. Um, if, if I'm going to make a pre prediction right now, I think we're going to win after extra time. That's my prediction. Um, I understand that a lot of people will disagree with me in the comments down below. But let me know what you think down below. Do you think we've got enough strength to go through in this game? How, how are you feeling about this game? I'm feeling very, very nervous. I've got... You know, I'm filming this at 25 past 1 in the morning on the game on the game day. So, yeah, apologies for that. And apologies for there's been hardly any videos this week as well because I've just been super busy. I've just not had time to upload. And, um, yeah, I do apologise for that. Um, I will get back to uploading probably um, either tomorrow evening uh, after the game or Monday because I've got time on Monday. So, yeah. Um, I didn't say this was going to be a very long preview. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this uh, very short preview. Um, make sure you leave a like on the video as well if you have enjoyed it. And um, yeah, it's going to be a very, very exciting game. And um, yeah, hopefully we can, can, can come out on top and get to another FA Cup final against Liverpool. Because Liverpool beat Manchester City in the other semi-final today. Um, Manchester City were not good enough. Let's just be real. They weren't good enough in the other semi-final. And Liverpool deservedly went through. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it from me. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this very short preview. And um, yeah, enjoy the game if you can. Um, let me know your score predictions down below. I'm going to say 2-1 after extra time. So leave a like, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you for the Operation Palace video on Monday.